we celebrate uh, uh, the Africa Day. Indeed, we decided on this day, today, Friday, for, for our mutual convenience, because normally we spend quite a bit of time here, and we thought that rather than meet on Thursday, when people then have to wake up the following day to go to work, it's better that we meet on Friday, so that even Bantu, Bandolomisa, uh, <coughs> he doesn't have to go to Parliament. I recognize him. <coughs> I recognize him because uh, I'm afraid of being good. Uh, <coughs> but a very special welcome to our distinguished lecturer, Professor Mahmoud Mamdani. And indeed, I'm very, very glad that uh, he readily agreed to be our distinguished lecturer uh, this year. <coughs> uh, on March the 31st, uh, the March this year, and Professor Mamdani delivered uh, the Edward Said uh, Memorial Lecture in London. We talked about it just now as we're coming here. And he began by quoting from the epic poem by Amy Cazare, Notebook of a Return to the Native Land. And I'm sure all of you, as educated as you are in this hall, know that uh, who Amy Cazare was. Uh, from Martinique, born in Martinique, was a, a prominent Pan-Africanist. Let me <coughs> quote an excerpt from that notebook, that poem, Notebook of a Return to the Native Land, which Professor Mamdani quoted in, in his lecture uh, in London in March. And the poem says, I would I would arrive sleek and young in this land of mine, and I would say to this land whose loam is part of my flesh, I have wandered for a long time, and I'm coming back to the deserted hideousness of your swords. I would go to this land of mine, and I would say to it, embrace me without fear, and if all I can do is speak, it is for you I shall speak. And again I would say, my mouth shall be the mouth of those calamities that have no mouth. My voice, the freedom of those who break down in the prison holes of despair. And if all I know how to do is speak, it is for you that I shall speak. My lips shall speak for miseries that have no mouth. And on the way I would say to myself, and above all to my body as well as my soul. Beware of assuming the sterile attitude of a spectator, for life is not a spectacle. A sea of miseries is not a proscenium. A man screaming is not a dancing bear." Unquote. <clears throat> Our distinguished lecturer, Professor Mamdani, is an outstanding public intellectual. Indeed, as Professor Makanya has just said, in my view, the leading public intellectual on our continent. And this is because he has said to himself, as did Amy Cazare, that he would say to himself, and above all to my body as well as my soul, beware of assuming the sterile attitude of a spectator. For life is not a spectacle. A sea of miseries is not a mere part of the stage of a theater. Thus we have with us today an eminent African intellectual who refuses to assume the sterile attitude of a spectator. And one example of the outcome of this refusal is what was entitled a separate opinion which Professor Mamdani wrote as part of a member of the African Union Commission of Inquiry on South Sudan, uh, expressed an opinion which was not shared by everybody on that commission. 
And he said what is popularly called an African solution is a contextual solution. The demand for an African solution arises from the experience of having been prescribed a series of single formula or one-size-fits-all remedies packaged as universal. He said in economic policy, the best known single formula remedy was known as the Washington Consensus of the 1980s and 1990s and was the result of efforts to address the problems of the debt crisis and global inequality. Its destructive effects are well documented. And today that same single formula remedy rules the roost in the field of conflict resolution and transitional justice prescribing a single across-the-board remedy, criminal accountability. And he said in addressing situations of extreme violence, there are now advocates of a similar one-size-fits-all approach, and this might seem appropriate. Justice, after all, like economics, is supposed to be based on universal principles. But there's a difference between following universal principles and adopting single formula solutions. And he said in the field of justice, the single formula approach makes a simple declaration. A crime has been committed and the perpetrators must be identified and punished. The question of justice is reduced to an issue of crime and punishment and those who see things in these terms will scan this report for a list of perpetrators to be investigated, tried, convicted, and punished. And he said context is not the opposite of universal value or standard. Context is an understanding that any concrete situation is an outcome of multiple causes, historical, political, moral, and economic. And the call for a contextual understanding is an argument that we need to move away from a single formula prescription to understand the precise interaction of multiple processes in the creation of a single event or outcome, unquote. And these are important and original observations which should serve as important reference material for all those who involve themselves in the important processes of resolving violent conflicts on our continent. And I'm certain that this evening, Professor Mamdani will leave us with new challenges as we continue to strive for Africa, for Africa to take a rightful place in the context of the changing world he will speak about. A warm welcome, my dear friend, at both this university, UNISA, and the Tabum Mbeki Foundation, feel privileged that you so willingly agreed to serve as our 2017 Africa Day lecturer. The year of our country celebrates the centenary of the birth of yet another eminent African intellectual and revolutionary, the late Oliver Tambo. Welcome, uh, <coughs> Professor Mamdani who has refused to assume the sterile attitude of a spectator. Thanks a lot. <laughs>